Apparently under significant pressure from Washington, the EU will impose new and tougher sanctions against Russia from this Friday. The West is blaming Moscow for orchestrating the reunification of Crimea with the Russian Federation and also for supplying arms to anti-government protesters in eastern Ukraine. The Kremlin vehemently denies being behind the unrest in Ukraine, but these denials are being rejected by the EU. Avec la Fédération de Russie. The Russian Federation and the European Union have imposed important common interests. We will both benefit from open and frank dialogue, from increased cooperation and exchanges. But we cannot pursue this important positive agenda when Crimea is illegally annexed, when the Russian Federation supports armed revolt in eastern Ukraine, and when the violence unleashed kills innocent civilians. Under the new sanctions, Russian banks will have restricted access to EU markets. Trade in military hardware between EU countries and Russia is being blocked, and there is also a ban on EU member states sharing technology with Moscow that is used in the exploration and extraction of oil and gas. The plan is designed to inflict financial pain on Russia, but many experts say that this US-driven strategy may well backfire. The EU gets one-third of its energy needs from Russia, and some member states rely on the Russian Federation for their entire energy supplies. Countries such as Germany, France and Italy have been reluctant to agree to tougher sanctions against Russia because they will result in an enormous financial loss to the EU. I mean, this has been calculated by the European Commission to amount to about 40 billion uh, euros uh, in the upcoming year and 50 billion the year thereafter. Those are substantial costs that, uh, that will have to be paid by um, by the EU collectively, but of course they will hit certain countries harder. The new EU sanctions against Russia will come into effect this week and officials say they will be reviewed in three months' time. Jerome Hughes, Press TV, Brussels.